We got Tony Yokar facing off against Martin Bacoli on January 15th in Paris. Now, this fight was on and off because originally he was supposed to fight Bacoli, but then the fight looked like it weren't happening. He was going to fight Carlos Takam instead. I think they even did posters for the Carlos Takam fight. But now the Takam fights off and he's back to fighting Bacoli. I've spoken to somebody from France and they reckon it was a negotiation tactic where they never really intended to fight Carlos Takam. And in fact, from what they told me, Tony Yoko and Takam are friends. So maybe, you know, it was roping Takam in to their little negotiation ploy. Who knows? But either way, he's fighting Martin Bacoli now. It's a fight I like. Martin Bacoli's been looking for a big name to fight. He's been looking for a breakout opportunity. And here it is. Bacoli, of course, is from Congo. So he speaks French, just like Tony Yoka. And this is probably the biggest step up of his career to date. If you look at his previous fights, Peter Milas, I saw that fight. Joey DeWaco, I don't think I actually saw the DeWaco fight. Oh, excuse me, that's not Joey DeWaco. Joel Jaco, or Je uh, Jeco. I did see that one. That's a black guy with dreadlocks. Joey DeWaco is like a little short uh, white guy from America. Tubby guy, the one who the rumors were that he knocked out Anthony Joshua in sparring. So yeah, I saw that fight too. Christian Hammer. Johan Duopa, Michael Wallace, Alexander Dimitrenko, Dave Allen, of course. Yeah, these are the guys he's fought so far. Jonathan Rice, actually, Jonathan Rice, is he as good as Martin Bacoli? Is he better than Martin Bacoli? Jonathan Rice has come on since he lost to uh, Tony Yoko back in 2017. And obviously, he beat Michael Coffey last time out. Isn't Jonathan Rice fighting on the undercard of Charles Martin versus Luis Ortiz? Let me just check here. Because I'm quite interested in that fight. Where are we at? Yeah, he's fighting a rematch with Michael Coffey. And let's just check. Pretty sure it's on the undercard. Yeah, it is. Of Ortiz against Charles Martin. Anyway, let me not get sidetracked. So, yeah. Uh, the guys that Tony Yoke has fought so far, other than Jonathan Rice, I would say Martin Bacoli is going to be the best opponent. And who knows? Maybe Bacoli's better than Jonathan Rice. We'd have to see them in the ring against each other. Bacoli didn't impress me against uh, Sergei Kuzmin. And that wasn't his last fight. His last fight was against this individual here. Oh no, I saw this as well. This was a, a one round TKO. Yeah, I did see it. That was against an absolute pudding who Martin Bacoli fought there. And Bacoli came in very heavy. Look at his weight here. Look at his weight. 282 pounds. Very, very heavy. Normally he's in the 250s, 260s, came in at 282 against this individual who he fought out in Dubai. And that was in September. So yeah, he's going to need to drop some weight and get down to a more realistic size if he wants to give himself the best chance of derailing Tony Yoka here. Even prior to that, he didn't impress me against Sergey Kuzmin. I thought that he was actually quite fortunate to get the decision there. To me, Kuzman was the better boxer. He was landing nice shots. And I know that Kuzman felt like he won the fight. His people felt like he won the fight, but didn't end up getting any kind of rematch or whatever. So yeah, let me know what you guys thought about that as well. I personally think that Tony Yoka should win this fight. I've heard rumors that Yoka doesn't have the best chin, you know, in the amateurs and stuff like that. In sparring, there are rumors but I don't necessarily think Yoka, uh, excuse me, uh, Bacoli is the biggest puncher in the world. I think he's got power for sure, but he doesn't strike me as someone with real devastating one punch knockout power. And he doesn't necessarily need that to knock out Yoka, but there's something a bit methodical about Martin Bacoli. There's something a bit deliberate. I don't really see him throwing surprising shots if that makes sense and if you're up against the guy who's technically better than you and Yoko is technically better than Martin Bacoli you're up against the guy who's technically better than you particularly heavyweight it helps if you've got one of those explosive punches that can come out the blue you're really fast with it you're sneaky with it and I just don't think Martin Bacoli is that guy I think Tony Yoko's technically better uh, they're both listed around the same height. Yoka's 6'7", 
Bacoli's listed at 6'6", six, six, although I question Bacoli's height. I'm not sure that he's six foot six. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm sure I've seen him standing with Anthony Joshua, who is 6'6", six, six, and Bacoli looks shorter than him. So Bacoli might be, I don't know, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, something like that. And yeah, I think this is Tony Yoka's fight to win. Of course, because it's heavyweight, you can never count anybody out. And I'm certainly not counting Martin Bacoli out. But if I had to go for a prediction, I would say Tony Yoka on points, maybe. A Yoka points win. Could Martin Bacoli get through some shots and hurt Yoka at some point? Possibly. Possibly. And uh, I think if Martin Bacoli's going to win, it has to be by knockout. Because Tony Yoka's the golden child here. He's the A-side. He's the attraction for this event. You can't imagine the judges are going to be doing Martin Bacoli any favors at all. So it's going to be either Martin Bacoli winning by knockout if he's going to win at all, or you know he ain't winning because he ain't taking a decision. Uh, Tony Yoka stopping Bacoli. I don't know. Bacoli seems quite tough. He did get stopped by Michael Hunter, but he took an awful lot of punishment against Michael Hunter. I mean, <laughs> Hunter was laying it on thick in that fight. He really put a serious beating on Martin Bacoli before that fight was eventually stopped. And it was stopped very late, wasn't it? Was it like the 10th round? Was it the final round that fight was stopped in? Where are we at? Yeah, it was the final round is where he got stopped. So I think Bacoli's tough. I know Michael Hunter is not the biggest puncher in the world, but again, he landed lots and lots and lots of shots on Martin Bacoli's chin. I want to say Bacoli will probably be able to take what Tony Yoka can dish out and Yoka will beat him on points. That's my prediction. Let me know what you guys think about this fight and how you think it will go in the comments below.